But we begin this Friday afternoon with the calls for action in Dearborn after last weekend's devastating flooding. Thank you for being with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. The city of Dearborn, no stranger to flooding. It seems to get hit hard by most storms. This past weekend, feet of water filled basements and covered cars, leaving residents and drivers facing insurance claims and pricey bills. And tonight, people are demanding answers and asking for help. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette is live in Dearborn tonight with their message. Simon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Glenda, Allen. In just a couple of days, they organized a protest out here in Dearborn. This is right next to the Dearborn Police Department and a crowd of about 120 people gathering out here to say they want more accountability from the mayor's office. They want to have compensation for their losses and they want an independent investigation into exactly what happened so they can get those answers. They say they've still been denied. You can hear one of the speakers up there. This is not a political event. Important to point out they told political candidates not to come here and campaign, but rather to talk about the issues and the need for real solutions. Now, one of the people that was impacted by this and her entire family, Ida Issa, is here with me now. Ida, if you want to step on over for a moment, talk to me about what you've experienced and specifically the fact it's not the first time you've dealt with this kind of flooding. Absolutely, Simon. Thank you for giving me the chance to talk. This is our second flood and this flood is worse than the 2014 flood. Uh, we are still paying on the other flood to fix everything. We paid 27,000. We took pride in cleaning our home. And it happened again without warning. My frustration is the devastation. It's like a war zone. You drive around, you, you're heartbroken. One, where's my mayor? You can send me my tax today. It came in the bill. In the mail today, my property taxes, we have not seen the mayor, nor during the pandemic, or to apologize, to give us something, give us hope that you are going to assist us, assist the residents. Heidi, what, what do you hope comes out of this? Accountability. Uh, someone needs to be held accountable. Every dime that was given to the city of Dearborn in 2014, it needs, we need to find out where it was allocated. Where did this money go to? It happened again, and this time it is devastating. Ida Issa, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us, and the crowd continues to gather here. More and more people speaking from the podium. We did also ask for the mayor to comment on this today, and we were simply told yet again he is not available. Live in Dearborn, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. A lot of hurting families this holiday weekend who want answers. Simon, thank you for the update.